so now we will study about the physiology of bacteria so in physiology of bacteria there is a very important topic that is called as the bacterial growth curve okay this is a very important as it is being asked in the university exams very frequently as a short answer question so it becomes important and therefore we will study it here so what is bacterial growth curve bacterial growth curve is the curve that is obtained when we are plotting the growth of the bacteria against the time that means first we have to put the inoculate the bacteria into a culture media and then we will sequentially see uh, how is the bacteria responding to the nutrients around it and how is it growing in number uh, uh, as per the nutrients provided in that uh, uh, liquid culture media or the any culture uh, for the time being any culture media okay so bacteria grows when it is inoculated into a liquid culture medium that we all know that uh, bacteria needs some nutrients for its growth and therefore when we provide the uh, culture media the bacteria starts growing so when the number of the bacteria uh, is uh, inoculated into the into a culture when, sorry when the number uh, when the number of bacteria which is inoculated into a culture media uh, is plotted against the time okay so what are we seeing in the bacterial growth curve we are seeing the variation in the number of the bacteria with the time okay so when we are plotting the number of the bacteria uh, growing in a culture media against the time then we get a curve we get a curve that curve is called as the bacterial growth curve so suppose we are plotting the suppose we are plotting the uh, number of bacteria in this direction and time in this direction then we will get a curve like this this curve is called as the bacterial growth curve okay so it is as simple as that that this curve is called as the bacterial growth curve so this curve uh, has four phases we have divided the curve into four phases now uh, there are uh, those four phases are lag phase and the log phase then stationary phase and then the decline phase okay so, so you see here this is the lag this is the lag phase in, uh, in, in this part this is lag phase and this is log phase this is the stationary phase and then this is a decline phase okay so these four phases we will read sequentially one by one what are the different um, uh, events that occur in different phases which are very important from exam point of view from mcq points of view so let's see the first phase that is the lag phase okay so lag phase uh, is the phase between the inoculation and the beginning of multiplication of the bacteria so suppose we are putting the bacteria into a culture media then uh, bacteria will not start the growth immediately so first the bacteria will understand that yes that this is a a favorable media for me then uh, the bacteria will uh, accumulate enzymes for its growth or uh, for its division and all for uh, metabolism and all and then it will start growing so this time during which the bacteria is uh, sensing that this is a favorable inv environment or not and then uh, it is accumulating the enzymes so this uh, uh, this all processes take some time okay and during that time the bacteria does not grow the number of the bacteria remains same that phase is called as the lag phase in which the bacteria is sensing the environment whether it is favorable or not and accumulating the enzymes for uh, growth of, for growth in the future so that is called as the lag phase now since in this phase the bacteria accumulates enzyme that means the bacteria uh, starts prepare, preparing for the uh, growth in the future in that media so that's why it is called also called as the preparation phase that that's why it is also called as the preparation phase so lag phase is the phase between inoculation and the beginning of multiplication of the bacteria so in this uh, phase the size of the bacteria increases okay the size of the bacteria increases because why we know that there is accumulation of enzymes in this phase so uh, size of the bacteria increases and bacterial size is maximum at the end of this phase okay in all the four phases in all the four phases the maximum size of bacteria is seen only after the lag phase so this becomes a very important mcq as well like uh, they will ask you that in which phase the bacterial size is maximum in the bacterial growth curve 
okay so then you have to answer that it is lag phase in which the size of the bacteria is maximum then we have the log phase okay then we have log phase so in log phase the bacteria has understood that yes this is a favorable uh, uh, environment then it also has understood that yes i have accumulated the enough number of enzymes for a metabolism and growth so let's begin the multiplication process so in log phase what does the bacteria do bacteria starts multiplying okay so in log phase the bacteria starts multiplication so that's why there is exponential division of bacteria okay there is exponential division of bacteria occurs in that phase uh, in this phase and um, uh, as the division occurs there so in the growth curve we see a straight line okay so a straight line is the log phase this is also again a mcq a straight line is the log phase then uh, one more uh, important point is that the gram is staining the gram is staining procedure they sometimes ask you that gram staining procedure is done in which phase of the bacterial growth curve then you have to answer it is the log phase in which we take the uh, um, colonies from the culture media and we produce gram staining so it is log phase in which we do the gram staining then the next phase is the stationary phase so uh, in the stationary phase the bacterial growth has almost stopped okay has almost stopped why because there is exhaustion of the nutrients if the bacteria is eating the nutrients um, uh, for uh, you know for a large duration then of course the nutrients are going to become less in future so here also the nutrients are exhausted there is no or very little nutrients left and that's why there is the there is um, bacterial growth becomes uh, you know the bacterial growth becomes uh, stationary what does that stationary word stationary mean so stationary word means that the number of newly formed bacteria is equal to the number of dying cells okay here in log phase the number of newly formed bacteria was more was more than the number of dying cells that's why that's why we are we were saying this expo uh, we that's why we were saying seeing this uh, uh, straight line in the growth curve okay but since here the number of newly formed cells uh, becomes e equal to the number of dying cells or the dying bacteria that's why here we see a simple horizontal straight line okay so uh, and also and uh, and and uh, as we are seeing here that the number of newly formed cells and the number of dying cells are equal that means the at a particular point of time uh, the number of viable cells is remaining same okay the number of viable cell is remaining same they it is not changing in the stationary phase so number of viable cells remains constant in the stationary phase again this becomes a very important mcq that in which phase the number of viable bacteria uh, is constant so it is the stationary phase and then we see the sporulation also in stationary phase sporulation is also seen why because we, we are seeing here that the nutrients are decreasing nutrients are decreasing after certain times after the exponential growth of the bacteria in the log phase the uh, nutrients has decreased in the stationary phase and um, and we know that the uh, sporulation occurs only only when there is a uh, unfavorable condition outside so bacteria tries to save uh, itself and for uh, protecting itself it uh, undergoes a sporulation produces a thick covering outside it which is uh, in other words called as spores uh, so uh, so that's why sporulation occurs here here also to protect itself because there is no nutrients outside so it tries to protect it, itself uh, um, uh, from the unfavorable condition like loss of nutrients or lack of nutrients and therefore it uh, therefore sporulation occurs in this stationary phase then we have the decline phase okay then we have decline phase so in decline phase what happens there is decline in the viable cell count okay in decline phase there is decline in the number of viable cells because uh, the cell death continues but due to exhaustion of the as there is you know as there is exhaustion of the nutrients the uh, after um, 
uh, after the stationary phase where the number of newly formed cells were equal to the number of dying cells but here the number of dying cells will overwhelm the uh, number of the newly formed cells okay so number of newly formed cells will become very less than the number of dying cells because there is no left nutrient on the nutrient media or on the culture media that's why the cell death uh, uh, the viable cell count uh, decreases but the total count remains same okay so we'll understand that in uh, through that graph so let's come to the graph so see here in the graph here exactly tells you that in log phase the there is no change in the number of bacteria okay bacteria is thinking that uh, whether the environment is uh, favorable or not and if in if favorable then I should uh, acquire or accumulate the enzymes so bacteria is accumulating the enzymes inside it and the number of the cells are remaining constant then we get the log phase so what happens in the log phase there is exponential uh, multiplication of the bacteria that is there is rise in the number of bacteria so that that is indicated by a straight line uh, shooting upwards okay so there is increase in the number of bacteria that is that we see in the log phase then we get the stationary phase what happens in the stationary phase in the stationary phase the number of viable cells become uh, stationary because the number of dying cells is uh, equal to the number of newly formed cells so it becomes a stationary the it, it is the stationary phase where the viable cells are constant then we get that in the uh, then we get the phase of decline where the number of cells keep uh, starts decreasing number of viable cells starts decreasing okay but the total count is see here although we are seeing here that the uh, number of uh, equals i mean the number of viable cells and number of dying cells is uh, constant in the stationary phase but still there are some already died cells and some newly formed cells are forming okay so they both count in the total count they both will be counted in the total count so obviously the total count will be keep on rising will keep on rising okay and also here if we see the viable count in the viable count decreases but the total count is still rising i mean it is not falling because dead cells are although dead they are present in the nutrient media only na okay although the dead bacteria the bacteria is dying but the died bacteria is already present in the nutrient so that will also be counted in the total count so obviously the total count will be more will be here so that is the, this is all about the bacterial growth curve